When it comes to shopping for food and drink in Australia, a family of two parents and two kids will spend on average around $330 a week. But when you consider that one in four Aussie kids are overweight or obese and less than 7% of the entire population have diets that meet nutritional guidelines, is our 330 per week actually buying us the healthiest foods? Well, a report from Deakin University claims that Australian supermarkets need to do much more to encourage healthy purchases. To examine this, we've asked the Stevenson family, Christina, Damon, Oliver and Lola, to help us understand how a simple trip to the supermarket can affect the way you eat. They say you are what you eat, so a sticky beak into the Stevenson's cupboard is going to tell me a lot about them. Ah. This says to me this is a typical Aussie family who are trying to be healthy. But in the world of mega marketing and social media, retailers sometimes can be coercing us into buying products we don't necessarily need. Well, we're about to demystify shopping and empower you to make better choices. The food industry in Australia is a $90 billion business. And as soon as we walk through their doors, right to the moment we check out, supermarkets use a mix of lighting, music and layouts to get us to buy big. Well, to help us understand how all of this works, we've brought the Stevensons into a busy supermarket to study how each of them hunts for food. OK, guys, this is how it's going to work. We want to see how do you shop for a week. There is no budget, there's no limitations. It is literally just to see how creative you can be. Right, let's get down to business with Dad. And to really understand how he shops, we have wired him up with some specialised eye tracking technology to record his thought processes and how he fills his trolley. Isn't this intriguing? Look how much Damon is scanning the shelves. The circle you can see at the centre of the picture shows us exactly what he is focusing on and for how long. To really understand what's going on here, we've asked two experts to analyse the vision coming from Damon's tracking camera. Dr. Rowan Miller is a senior lecturer in marketing at Sydney Uni, and Paul McBride is a customer experience researcher. He went straight for the fresh food section, which is obviously a thumbs up for me as a nutritionist. What's going on here? Fresh food's a really interesting thing. It seems to me that the supermarkets have these at the front of the store. Mm. As we're seeing here, this gentleman's spending lots and lots of time carefully selecting apples and, and other soft goods. Supermarkets start work on your emotions from the moment you enter the shop, typically placing fresh fruit and vegetable at the store's entrance to draw us in with bright colours and flavours. They understand that we'll pick the produce up, examine it and even taste it. The idea here is to slow us down so that we'll spend more time in store and possibly spend more money. I'm always the one getting in trouble for putting extra stuff in and sort of the... She's like, oh, hey, I don't need that, don't need that. But Christina sort of tends to, doesn't look in the cupboard before she goes and then double up on stuff. And we go, no, we've already got that. She goes, have we? So that's it for Dad. But Mum, Christina and the kids are off and running. I have a very bad habit of buying um, the same thing. I don't know whether it's a good or bad thing, but I think it's a quick thing. Wait, you don't need any fruit? None? Leaving like an apple? No. No. So Lola and Oliver seem to completely bypass anything fresh food related and went straight to the indulgent foods. Mm. Is this what you saw? Yeah, absolutely. Almost a, a conscious avoidance <laughs> of the fruit and vegetables immediately right into the bakery and the treat section. In virtually every medium to large supermarket, just beyond the fruit and vegetable section lies the bakery. This is a deliberate ploy. The look and smell of bread activates our salivary glands, making us feel hungry. And when we feel hungry while shopping, we're more likely to buy extra items on impulse. Uh, you can even see here Lola's actually picking up something at quite her height. Yes. Uh, looks like some, uh, some sort of treat. She certainly had a preference owing to her height. Uh, and you will find that, that colours um, uh, are more... The kids are more susceptible to colours than, than adults. Mm. OK, let's get some healthy stuff on. Yeah, um, Oliver came up with a, with a comment, oh, we should now buy some healthy stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, straight away they go to juices, which are heavy in uh, added sugar. And sugar is so prevalent now mm. through all our, all our foods. It really 
guides our purchases. A major issue with mass-produced foods is the quantity of added sugar they contain. And because these added sugars are labelled under 42 different names in Australia, making a healthy choice is not easy. It's interesting to, to look at, say, things like the new nutritional information on packaging. There are eye tracking research has shown that only about 3% of customers even view that. Wow. And on average, they're viewing it for a maximum of five seconds. In fact, a recent report found that if Aussie shoppers could identify added sugars as a result of clearer labelling, we would consume 38.3 kilos less sugar a year. As you can see, shopping really can be a minefield, but there's a couple of simple things you can do. Don't shop when you're hungry. Take a list. I write it down on my phone so I never, ever lose it. And so importantly, read the label. Apparently, you can use your phone to help magnify it if you take a photo.